Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny. Today, I'm making some beef garlic bologna. I tell you what, we got about 10 pounds of, of nice uh, uh, brisket here. We've ground up some brisket. We've taken the fat on it, added a little more fat to it. We've got about a 70-30 mix here. I'll make a really nice bologna. So stick around, let me show you how to make a beef garlic bologna on Texas style barbecue and cuisine. So, got everything ready to go. It's been ground through once. I've got about a 70-30 mix. Nice brisket ground up here. And I'm fixing to add our seasonings. We're gonna season this up. I'll give you every season we have. And then we are going to stuff it into some mahogany casings and we're gonna cook it off in our sous vide machine. Since this is a, a garlic bologna, we're gonna go in with plenty of garlic. I've got 10 tablespoons of fresh garlic, three tablespoons of granulated garlic, and also in here, I've got five tablespoons of granulated onion powder. So I'm gonna get all that in. And I'm gonna start mixing this up. Give y'all a sneak peek here in a minute so y'all can kind of see the, the uh, stuff are working, but we're just gonna keep taking this around. You go one way, we've gotta hold it down. Go one way, then you go the other way. So you get everything mixed in real good. But those are our first ingredients. Uh, let me get this mixed a little bit and I'll get back with you. Next thing is to go in our peppers. I've got one and a half tablespoons of black pepper, about a tablespoon of white pepper. Put this in. Those are in good. And also with that went four bay leaves. Just took four bay leaves, put them in my coffee grinder, turned them into a powder. So my bay leaves are in there also. Let's see if we can mix this up a little bit. Last ingredients going in, tablespoon of nutmeg, tablespoon of ground coriander. I got two and a half tablespoons of salt in here, two teaspoons of pink salt, and uh, we're gonna get this ground up. I didn't show those going in, just wanna let you know. But everything's cold, ice in the bottom tray. Top tray sitting in it. This has been in the freezer. Meat went back in the freezer, let it cool off for a little bit. So everything's good and cold. Always keep your meat good and cold when you're uh, making any sausages. Bologna is a type of sausage. So we're gonna do that. Y'all may have seen my grinder head come off. Right after I did the last video, uh, I got an email from Weston. Apologizing for taking a while to get back to me and let me know there was a grinder on the way. So I've got another grinder to replace this one and uh, I'm gonna send this one back in to them and get it going. But anyways, let's get this ground up and then we'll get right back with you and probably mix this meat just a little bit more. So we got to ground up through the fine the plate and then uh, put it back in the mixer, mix it a little bit better. Got all the ingredients stirred in real good. And now we're gonna stuff it in some two and a half inch casings. I'm gonna use these mahogany casings. Not as big as your normal uh, bologna, but I tell you what, I like this a little bit smaller. Uh, I think it uh, cooks a little bit better, comes out better for me. And these are, they're simple to use. I got the biggest horn that I have. I'm gonna put it on here. Again, hold it with your left hand. I'm gonna crank it down with my right. And we wanna fill this up all the way. You can kind of tell when it's starting to fill up and get tight. There we go. First one's done. Take it off. I'm gonna twist it good and tight. And then we're gonna use our hog ring pliers to uh, secure it. These are these little loops are our hog rings. Here's our pliers. Now to put on this hog ring, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ring in the pliers. Make sure your uh, casing is twisted up really, really tight. And then you just take your 
pliers and you push that hog ring on there, twist it in it, squeeze them till it's good and tight. Now we got a hog ring in. There you have it, five tubes of bologna. Now what I'm going to do is, going to do it off camera, y'all don't need to see it, but I'm going to vacuum seal each one of these in, a, uh, in its own bag. I'm going to drop them into the sous vide bath and I'm going to let them go for about two hours. I'm going to check the internal temp. I'm going to get up in that 150, 155. Wouldn't hurt to go to 160 with them. But we're going to, we're going to set the sous vide up at 155. So anyways, let me get these in there. Once they come out, we'll sample one and see how it looks and give it a little taste. Sous vide bath, they are done. They've reached temperature. You look at that one. That bag leaked just a little bit. Let's see where we got some water in there. But they're up to 155 degrees. Took us about two hours and 55 minutes to get them there. Well, here we go. Got got the uh, the balonies out, and the, and they don't look terrible. Um, that one had a leak. We knew that, and uh, all of them rendered fat. So what happens when you render fat is you get that little fat layer around on the outside. So we got too hot, too quick. Um, first time I ever did sous vide. Next time if I do sous vide, I may start like it, bring it to 130 and then step it up to 140, then step it up to 150 maybe. Take a little more time so that doesn't happen. But anyways, I bet you it's still going to taste good, but we will have that little fat layer on the outside when we cut into this in just a second. So let's get in there and let's take a look at it and see how it did turn out. So cut this one right in the middle so we can get a good look. It, you know, it, it looks okay, but you can see the, I don't know if you can see that, but look, see right there where we rendered fat. So just cut off a couple of slices here. Some of this texture, I don't, I'm not nuts about the texture of it right there, but you can see where the fat rendered. So if we served it to somebody, we would have to do something to do that, cover it, put it in crackers, maybe where people wouldn't see it. But uh, anywho, we're gonna see how our garlic bologna did turn out. But definitely more coarse than I wanted it. But uh, it's smelling really good. Let's take this bologna and give it a try. I should have ran it through the uh, fine again. It's a little bit coarse for a bologna. You know, but really bologna is kind of a, of a um, emulsion is what it is. So maybe add a little bit of liquid to it, do it a little bit more fine than this. And I'll tell you what, it needs more garlic. Nutmeg came through real good. I can pick up that hint of bay leaf in there, but definitely for a garlic bologna, it needs more garlic. Mm. Tastes good. And I'll tell you what, it's a little bit dry because we lost that fat. And that's why, that's one thing that hurt us. We wouldn't have lost that fat. It may not have been a dry bologna. But uh, maybe go with a little more fat next time. But I tell you what, it's not bad at all. I mean, I would serve it and I guarantee you people would eat it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I always appreciate, you know, doing sausages for you, doing charcuterie. I, I like doing it. And, this bologna came out all right. If you want to use a sous vide machine, it'll work great. Hey, run by Inkbird and check out their sous vide machine. Uh, it worked really good. I don't know a lot about that model. It wasn't real hard to work, but I need to just kind of learn the ins and outs of it. I've used some big ones at restaurants and stuff, but never the little small home ones. But anyways, Inkbird sent that over to me to, to do a little demo on it and see if I liked it or not. And I, and I thought it definitely did its job. Ready to get some steaks on it. Uh, maybe do some fish in it, but we'll be doing some different things with that uh, that ink bird sous vide machine So check it out. Uh, I'll see if I can put a link. I don't even know if I got a link. I'll find a link I'll get a link down below for y'all, but thanks for stopping by. I always do appreciate it Tell your friends and family about us and uh, share us on your social media I'm Chef Johnny and we're gonna see you down the road on Texas style barbecue and cuisine Goodbye, everybody How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen